So this week, one thing we're going to do to complete the interior is to swap over to the V8 three pedals gas braking clutch. <laughs> So now if you're doing a swap either from an automatic to a manual transmission or if you're just doing an interior restoration, there's no reason to put rusty parts back in your project car. So one thing I'm going to do on the Project Wide Fox is go from 4 speed, it was a 1984 speed with 3 pedals obviously, over to a 92 drivetrain with 5 speed. Now I've got all the parts out there so I know that all of the harnesses and that are going to match up and so I'm going to swap over to the 5 speed parts. I don't know if they're the same, I can never find a definitive answer out there but you know what, I know that I have the parts so I can just swap them over because they're going to bolt right up. So what I've got in front of me is the clutch and brake assembly piece and then itself the gas pedal piece is a separate. Now the gas pedal itself has a bracket on the back, has the clutch pedal, and it's held on with basically a pin in the back. So if I show you there, it's just a pin. So you can drive this pin out, take off the plastic pedal itself, and the rest is metal. Now the clutch and uh, brakes itself is mostly metal, other than it's got some pads down here, the rubber pad. Now these will peel up and off. I'll show you here. Here's the clutch piece. Scoot in. So these will actually just peel off. You can look at the back there. They're hollow. They will peel off and then you don't need them anymore. You set them aside. Now taking these apart is pretty easy. There's a lot of little pieces. So what I'd say I would take your cell phone or something to take pictures and just take a few pictures of it so that when you go to put it back together, you know where all the little pieces go. Now you can take them apart, put them in plastic bags if you want to. Otherwise, just set them aside into an area and group them by parts. So clutch parts with clutch parts, brake parts with brake parts, and then it's pretty easy to go back together. Now, if you start taking this apart, all you have to do is use a couple adjustable wrenches. Everything is mostly screws, and then you can get a pair of like needle nose pliers or channel locks for the R clips that hold on a couple pieces. Now, as you start taking this apart piece by piece, just remember to keep everything organized. Now, you're going to have plastic bushings like here on the clutch rod itself. Keep those aside, you can take those off if you want to. And then just lay everything out piece by piece. That way you don't lose anything while you're doing it. Now once you have all your electronics off, you can just take these and set these aside. Make sure your plugs are still in good shape. And then these are pretty easy. They're all plastic, so make sure you don't break them. Take them off. Have a lot of patience with this stuff. It's old plastic and it will snap off if you're too aggressive with it. Okay, so once you've got it down to a bare chassis at this point, you can start sanding on it. Now depending on how much rust you need, you can use either a wire brush you can use some sandpaper. I did this with 400 grit plus a little bit of a wire brush on the hard areas. The key is just to get it down as best you can before you're going to hit it with some rust reformer. Now this is the same stuff I've used everywhere else on this car because it works. So get it down as best you can, clean it. Remember prep is key for paint and then have patience while you spray. You're also going to do the same thing down on your pedal. So this is the brake pedal. You can now you see that most of this is black down this way. So I'm just going to use some light uh, sanding, maybe like a 400 grit there also. Get this cleaned up. I'm going to hit it with some rust reformer after I take off the pedal pad. Just like that. Take it off. Sand it all down. Prep it. Paint it. That way everything will be covered and have no corrosion. And it will be a sexy black when it goes in the car. All right, so once all your parts have dried overnight or somewhere later in the day, it's time to start reassembly. Now the bushing themselves are plastic, so they don't really need grease, but if you want to add grease, something like a simple white lithium grease on the connection points to the bushings itself will keep it from, at least from 
uh, re-rusting anything that's not painted. So, since you took pictures with your phone or something like that, you know where everything goes. Now it's a matter of reassembly, piece by piece, putting back together what you already took, uh, took apart. And then I'll show you the finished product once we're back together. All right, so with everything fully assembled, it's all back together. Now, when you get this together, you wanna to make sure that everything moves smoothly back and forth. So when it's just dangling, that way you know that there's not gonna be no bind on here that your brakes will stop, and then your clutch will disengage when you need it to. You can also do your gas pedal here. So I had mine taped up because it doesn't come off very easy from this pin. So that's done also to match. And then since I have the whole car down to the main beam and the wiring harnesses, I'm gonna take out every other piece, do the same thing, sand, prime, paint, and replace. So that's it for this time. If this was helpful to you and you wanna see some more, hit that subscribe button. If you like it or you have any questions, give me a comment below. And as always, from Basin Motorsports, we'll see you next time.